This is a film that I've heard of for many years. I've seen a trailer for on video and in theaters for many, many years. I thought I saw the sequel to it once, but I guess I didn't. This is from 1973, and it is Horror High. It's not about a school for prostitutes. It is about a horrifying high school, also known as Twisted Brain at some point. This stars, well, kind of nobody you've ever seen before. This actually features Mean Joe Green and members of the early 70s Dallas Cowboys football team. It features the female lead in Don't Look in the Basement, and then a lot of, I guess, regional Dallas area actors. This was shot, uh, very low budget horror production in Dallas in the early 70s, released in 73. I think it might have been shot a couple years earlier than that. And I guess a lot of the football players being in the film playing, you know, coaches or whatever, were due to the fact that the Dallas Cowboy organization donated some money to help this film get made. Basically, it is a teenage take on Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. We have a, a young, um, nerdy science kid who is bullied constantly and just wants to do his experiments in the lab at all hours of the day and night and be left alone and have a girlfriend, and nobody will let him do that. Everybody's really cruel to him. So he is developing a drug, testing it on animals, that would make you stronger, that would make you a better physical specimen, shall we say, much like the Jekyll and Hyde notion. And one thing leads to another, things go bad. He t winds up taking the drug because he doesn't have access to the animals anymore. And it turns him into just a maniacal beast who kills people. Now, he doesn't necessarily kill innocent people. It depends on your outlook. He basically takes out his frustrations and uses his newfound power to just take out the people who've been making his life miserable from an English teacher who is just flat out mean to him to um, a coach who is mean to him and a little, maybe untoward, maybe 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 the scene had gone on longer untoward toward him and you know, jock bullies who were just giving him a hard time. He just takes them out one after the other. Um, it's a film, like I said, I thought I had seen a sequel. There's a movie from the 80s called Return to Horror High. It's a new world picture from like mid 80s or so, 86 I wanna say, and uh, features Maureen McCormick, Marsha Brady in it. Not a sequel, apparently, to Horror High. They were returning to a high school that was horrifying, but not to Horror High from this film. So um, this is, again, this is one that is available for free on YouTube. It was a widescreen copy. Didn't look very good. Looked like a kind of a junky transfer. Looked like it might have been a, not a pan and scan, but an open mat transfer that somebody zoomed in on to fill the screen. The composition looked fine, so I think I wasn't really missing anything visually. But a little little pixely, little washed out. Um, it's the kind of film that I do wonder if this ever got a Blu-ray release. Would this look good? Because the trailers I've seen, even good copies of the trailers I've seen, just look really grainy and really high contrast and, and not, not, not so good looking. But I have a feeling that for, the, for what it was made for, probably this doesn't look like an MGM musical, but I've seen enough films restored on video, often by Vinegar Syndrome, that always look terrible and you get back to the negative and wow, there's color there and there's, there's a gradation of, of lights and darks. It's just not black or white in the shadows. And my God, everybody doesn't have black hair. They have brown hair and light brown hair and red hair. At any rate, Horror High, who's it for? This is for horror fans, obviously. This is for people who maybe don't mind a movie they can kind of laugh at a little bit. I know we certainly were while we were watching it. It was hard to take it totally seriously because the acting is pretty, is pretty community theater for the most part. Um, it's it's fun to see people get their comeuppance. It, it is a revenge movie. Uh, the guys from Monstrama were talking about other revenge movies like Massacre at Central High and Evil Speak and things like that. And this reminded me of those, certainly. Um, again, not a great movie, but if you're holed up and looking for something to watch you haven't seen before, I did find it entertaining. It was cheap, but it wasn't very long. It was not, uh, well, it was actually kind of gory at times, but I also wonder, if the low quality of the video transfer we were watching maybe masked how gross it could have been. I know there are various edits of this. The Twisted Brain version that apparently aired on TV in the 70s was very sanitized as far as the gore goes and also uh, apparently added in some dialogue scenes. So it's sort of a different version. I don't know how easy this is to find on video. It's a movie I've always heard of. I think it might have come out via one of those uh, compilations of Crown International films that Mill Creek put out. I think Crown International was the company that released this originally. Um, American International, a studio the releasing company that if I see their name on something, I'm always like, wow, this has got potential because American International did a really great job of, of hitting all the beats and delivering entertaining films. 
Crown International, to me, they may have put out some good films. I'm sure I've seen some that I've liked, but for the most part, Crown International movies, to me, they just don't work. They're not very good. They're cheap. The acting is not very good. They just, they're not very well made. This kind of falls into that category. So your mileage may vary, but uh, it was fun finally seeing this film after all these years. So available probably on DVD, not yet on Blu-ray, definitely on YouTube from 1973, Horror High.